In this video, I'm going to show you a really simple blitz that you can use out of the nickel over formation to get instant pressure on the quarterback. This blitz is also really effective for allowing you to kind of adapt and disguise your defense uh, so that the opponent doesn't know if you're going to be sending pressure or if they're going uh, or if you're going to be playing maximum coverage defense. So uh, we're just going to use the bunch here, and I am going to come out in the play uh, bunch trail. And then defensively, what we want to do here is we're actually going to run this on base align. The reason we want to run this on base align is because it's going to kind of keep the same pre-snap look for our opponent so that they're not going to know if we're playing man, if we're playing zone, if we're um, or if we're blitzing or not. Okay, so base align. Uh, we're going to put this on option defense on conservative. And then we're going to come out in match coverage. Now, um, this is actually a default audible in most nickel over formations that I've seen. It's the overload blitz is what we're going to be utilizing. But we're going to come out in a zone play and then audible into this. And what's going to happen is you'll notice it's better pre-snap alignment. It's also going to be better uh, disguise for your coverage. So you see here, we're going to be out here in zone. When we audible to this, you notice that nobody moves. See that? Um, so then when we go ahead and set up our coverage here, you know, we can kind of craft it, if you will, like this. Okay. So uh, the setup is to pinch your defense. You're going to then show blitz. And then what I like to do here is I'm going to man this defender up onto uh, the tight end. And then I am going to use her. Uh, this guy now in a situation where they're probably going to be sending their running back out on a route uh, What we want to do to establish a baseline of pressure here is we want to either send it from the nickel corner or we can send it from this linebacker So in this example, we actually get a little bit better um, You know, we could actually instead of manning the, that guy up on him. We'll send the linebacker. So you see here you can kind of adjust it as needed and what you'll see is you should get pressure off of this right side really easy at the quarterback. So you get the easy pressure. Now, if you wanted to, you could put Overstorm Brave in your audibles and basically do it like this. And now you don't have to make any additional adjustments. So as you see right here, the blitz is already set up. We don't have to make any adjust additional adjustments. And as you see, the blitz is going to come in at the quarterback. Now, what they're going to do is they are going to block somebody. So uh, what we want to be able to do is from the same exact look without having to give away that we're blitzing because this can easily be a coverage look, right? So we want to look like we're going to be sending pressure here, but if they block their running back, a lot of times they will actually be able to pick this up unless they obviously roll into the blitz as you saw right there. So a lot of times they're going to be able to block this with the blocked running back. So all we want to do here is actually really simple. We're going to use this overload blitz. And again, we're just going to globally blitz the linebackers. So you see here, we're going to globally blitz the linebackers. That's going to then send this, this left side backer. If you want to crash your line down, you certainly can. Now, what I would recommend doing is actually manning, cross manning, um, that safety up on the tight end if you want to, or something else that I actually really have, have really started to do here is to actually cross man the backside safety onto the slot receiver. And then to take the guy that's guarding the slot receiver and put him on the tight end. You're going to see this is better alignment for the routes they're going to probably run. A lot of people like to run that slot receiver on a corner route, deep route, or something like that. So at the snap of the ball, when they see this, right, you see here we're able to basically lock this up. And as you see, the pressure is coming in really, really quickly at the opponent. So really the simple uh, solution here in terms of pressure, not, 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 not so much coverage here for just a minute. Um, really what we want to simply do is just send the nickel corner, right? So we can do this out of Overstone Brave or we could do this out of Overload Blitz. It's either, either or uh, you'll be fine. If they block that running back, a lot of times it's going to come around the edge as you see right there, okay? Obviously, they need to fix the drag route in Bunch Trail because it is completely broken. Now, you can do this out of other plays, right? This is actually a universal setup. So I could do this out of cover four uh, quarters if I want to. As you see here, this is basically the same exact blitz setup. Maybe we do something like this to kind of take away the quick throw to the back. And then we just need to get out here for the tight end route. So you see here we get out for the tight end. And it makes it just hard to be able to uh, read what we're doing. Now, the beauty of this is we can look exactly the same, but now we're going to play max coverage. So you'll see here, we're actually only going to send three people at the opponent, and we're going to play maximum coverage defense. Well, it looks basically exactly the same, 
and that's kind of the chess match that we play in Madden. So by utilizing this defense, we're able to not only get pressure, um, again, if they block a running back, but we can then adjust the coverage out of it as well. Now, the beauty of base aligning your man coverage in this year's game is it makes it look the same pre-snap. So for example, you know, maybe we wanted to run a maximum coverage man coverage play, um, and we want it to look like this. So I think this is actually a pretty decent little setup here, and what we can do um, what we can do off of this is we can take that middle third out of the cover one hole and we can man him up on the outside player and then we're going to deep third that outside guy to help with corner routes and stuff like that. And then now we're in a maximum coverage man look that looks exactly identical to our pressure and our match zone coverage as you can see. So these are some ways that you can through you know base aligning not only be able to send a lot of pressure at your opponent but also be able to attack them you know, whenever they start to pick up the pressure with blocking a running back or something like that, okay? So guys, nickel over, I think right now, I think you're starting to see um, the nickel over defense is really, really effective for a lot of reasons. Um, there's also several different styles to running this defense. And if you want to learn how I run the nickel over, make sure you join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks. We also just dropped my 4-3 even uh, or a 4-3 even 6-1 defensive ebook over there as well, making it our 10th uh, offensive and defensive ebook of the season. Guys, if you want to get access to all of those ebooks, members get access to everything for just 10 bucks. If you want to sign up for that, the link is down in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon.